Hey guys, I'm going to do a little video on tips how to keep your guinea pigs warm. I think a couple other channels have done it, but I'm just going to show you what I do. So first of all, I have beds from Cab Cobbin Crafts and Piggy Bed Spreads. Every cage has beds in them at all times. Like these little burrow bags here. Hey Kelvin. And the cozy tunnels. Cuddle cups are good for being soft to lay on, but not necessarily to keep them warm. These burrow bags and the tunnels, can you eat my finger? Are what keep them the most warm. When one of them are sleeping in there, and if I take the piggy out of them, they are like a hot water bottle picking them out of their little beds. That's how warm it keeps them. They're nice and toasty warm. The only times I've had to take them out while they're in their beds is if a hard piggy to catch is in there and I need to clip nails. I just snatch up the bed and clip their nails. What are you guys doing? You little goofs. But anyway, the other thing I do is I have fleece. Fleece? That's not a word. Fleece. I was going to say fleece and draped at the same time. Anyway, I have fleece up here. And it covers the back wall and I have towels here because that's obviously where the window is and that's where it's going to be the coolest in a room. So I keep that so that no drafts whatsoever can get to these guys. Mom, your bed is pooped on. That's gross. Run. Big scary mom. Run. Hey. Anyway. And as you'll see, Grover has this to protect him from any drafts that the window would have. And we can see that there is a Grover bum right in there. All my guys choose to sleep in their beds. Sometimes they'll sleep out random spots. And that's a good way to know that your room is comfortable, especially for the skinny pigs. If they choose to sleep out on the liners, then you know it is warm enough in this room. Hey little bums. Hi little cutie. What are you doing? What are you doing? Aww. Give me a little licks. So, let's see. I'll get my flashlight. It's nighttime right now so you can't really see. There is the funniest, cutest little thing. That's rugby. <laughs> He's all tucked in there. That's <laughs> so cute. Hey, mischief makers, what are you guys doing? And you'll see they've got their tunnel and a little cozy cocoon as well. And I have towels and fleece draped down the back and towel and stuff all on the sides so that the drafts won't get them either. And to make sure my piggies are warm. I have my temperature thing there. Temperature thing. Whatever. Anyway, the thermometer. That would be a temperature thing. Right there so that at all times I can check what temperature it is and know that the room's okay. And you must always keep in mind that hot air rises so your piggies on the bottom aren't going to be as warm as the pigs on the top. So that's a good reason to keep your room nice and warm. If I put the thermometer on the floor, it's going to be about, I find about a degree or so lower than what it is when it's sitting at the midpoint of the room. But I always have the room more than warm enough, so it doesn't matter. Hobbs, what are you doing? So those are my tips. I think everybody, whether you have furry pigs or not, should have cozy beds. You don't know how your piggy feels for warmth, so you should always have the option of them having a place to go and get cuddly and warm. And that's just what I think. And especially if you have skinny pigs, I think it's a must. I don't think anybody with skinny pigs should go without beds. A cuddle cup's fine, but that's not good enough. I mean like beds like a burrow bag, a tunnel, those kind of things. You can make them yourselves. It's really easy. Calvin seems to think drinking from the water bottle means pushing it up and down. Hobbies. Hobbs. You little brat. 
Hey little brat. Anyway, I was saying, Calvin always thinks that to get this to work, he has to toss it up and down. I'll be downstairs and that's all I can hear is bang, bang, bang. And I come upstairs thinking, oh my goodness, what's happened? And it's Kelvin. Kelvin doing sniff bums. So those are my tips. If you have any questions, just ask. Is that all for now?